guys, well, welcome back. We got something new and different for you here today. Uh, Pocket Shot sent Jeff this whole kit for us to demonstrate for you. And today's the first day I've ever had my hands on one, so bear with me on my shots because it's a there's a learning curve here. Um, awesome machine here. I'll call it a machine. We got uh, wrist rocket type setup, wristband, pocket pouch, drop your balls in there, steel balls, brass balls, whatever you may have. Uh, Pull back, aim, and Lego. They got uh, two different pouches. This one is supposedly for an arrow pouch. Got a long draw, you need a full length arrow. They sent us some nice carbon arrows to go with this too. Uh, we have a blue pouch. Great for uh, steel balls, marbles, smooth rocks. You don't want to use uh, anything rough. You don't want to use anything too small because you'll wear out the back of the little pocket here. Uh, for uh, your standard arrows, shooting those through one of these little rubber caps. It goes over the knock, gives you something to grip, pull back on. And then it came with this one. This is specifically designed for arrows. You, uh, there's a little cross pin in here. You put an arrow in and the knock snaps into it. Came with a quick release. Snap it on here, pull it back, pop. And uh, comes with a whisker biscuit for shooting arrows. Take the whisker biscuit off, shoot marbles or balls. Uh, let's see, what else do we get? Oh, we got some of these little hammerhead things. I guess if you don't want to, if you just want to knock something out or hit something hard without penetrating, comes with these. The cap for storage is also your tool. Ah, come on, thumbs. Unscrew this a bit. Pull that off. Snap another one on. Whichever may may be using. Tighten it back up, get it good and tight. Don't want this thing coming loose on you. And if you're shooting arrows, put your whisker biscuit on. Good arrow guide. 11 yards, okay. Oh, went right through it. I think so. It takes, ah. so far you've taken like 10 shots, or if that, and um, he's getting the hang of it. It's definitely a skill-based uh, skill. Yeah, you gotta figure <laughs> out how to aim it. You got this notch here, and then you, you can't have your pouch off-centered, or you won't hit your target. Like that? Yeah, that was way off. Yeah, if you're using this in a survival situation, you're gonna go hungry, da Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an old Indian turb for a bad hunter. A vegetarian. <laughs> Dang it. More practice, more practice. I should have let you practice with us for like a week, but. <laughs> I have a tendency to shoot to the right for some reason. Uh, well, you are in California. Oh, wait, that's not. Yeah. Try to get over to that leftist thing, you know? Yeah. Shoot to the right. Okay, you're good to go, man. <laughs> There's definitely a learning curve with this, so. Yeah, yeah, like anything, it takes <laughs> practice. Bear with me. This is a. I don't know if I could hit the broadside of a barn, but. Uh, that's pretty, you're, uh, how far is that, like 12 yards, 10 yards or something? Yeah. Okay. That. They're saying these are good from between 10 to 20 yards. 20 yards, you're, it's gonna take some practice, I guarantee you that. Right, right. But, uh, 
Awesome little tool here. It is. It's, it's really well made. Made in the USA, I believe, right? Uh, made in USA. All right. <laughs> so we're about how far six seven yards uh, yeah okay we're gonna start off kind of close here yeah. see if danny can hit that gallon jug no guarantees yeah it might take a few <laughs> tries i mean like i said you know practice 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 and yeah that's not something danny has right now yeah, <laughs> let's see one thing you gotta watch out for especially with the blue bands or short stroke when you let go, your hand's coming back. Don't pop yourself in the mouth. Not that, not that that happened to you, right? Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> okay. That's an important thing. Yeah. These aren't really for kids either. They're, I, I no, think the they're draw different. weight is way too much for a kid. Yeah. Is that draw weight? Is that is that the draw right weight. term? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what these are, but they're pretty darn stiff. Yeah, watch watch the uh, hand there. All right. Okay, let's see what it, uh, if Danny can hit that jug with just a few practice shots. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's see what we can't do. Nice, first time. Okay, now what are you going to be shooting now? Uh, I bought these for the slingshot. They're supposed to be high visibility. They're just a white marble. Okay. But, uh, Let's see how that does. I've never seen they, anyone shoot a white marble out of these things. Marble seems to be the perfect ammo for these. Feels good in the pouch. You got a good grip on it. Okay. Uh, the small balls, you really got to pinch down on it. It's not bad, but okay. these are much easier. Mr. B, you don't want to fly in that hole. <laughs> Go away. Land. We have a Maybe. B problem over here, I think. All right. Okay, I'm ready. ready. There we go. Oh, look at the accuracy on that one. That was impressive, Danny. You're getting the hang of it quick. Danny's, he's, he's catching on pretty quick. He's getting confident enough that he wants to shoot a smaller target, this, this can of whatever it is. It's some cream corn or something like that. Mystery I don't think anyone's going to complain that we shot cream corn. You don't like cream corn? No. Oh, you like it, huh? That's good stuff. I've got some more cans that Dan, uh, Greg had bought. <laughs> I thought everybody, I thought it was universally hated, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's like okay. eggplant. It's a... Acquired taste. I, uh, yeah, a lot of people like that. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Let's see if we can hit that. It might take a couple shots. Amazing. Man, you're, you're just getting better and better. I think I think the marbles are where it's at. You got the right weight and that large diameter. Yeah, uh, that's something I, I'd, I'd recommend a pocket shot to uh, include as their ammo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those marbles. And, and like I said before, I don't think I've seen. I, I watched a few videos just to see what we're getting into, to learn about this. And so did you. You know, we didn't want to go in this um, completely in the dark. Yeah. But I didn't. I, I didn't see anyone shoot marbles out of it. I, I might have missed that video. But this is like reading a book on how to swim and then go jump in the water. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, the target we have here. I want to thank Darren, my nephew. He used to be uh, uh, my shooter years ago until he got married and, and has a family and, and a real life now. But he brought over a whole bunch of broken iPhones and Samsungs and. All kinds of stuff for us to shoot, and I uh, want to thank him for that. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see if Danny can hit that. It's about the same size as that can, so I have good, I have pretty good uh, expectations for this one. Anytime you're ready. Okay, let's see what we can't do. Got it. All right, we're gonna try these. Uh, I guess they're designed for paintball, but they're uh, they're rubber. They're just gonna bounce instead of reballs. These are like the Chinese generic version. They're called these two rebars. Are they, these two are what they sent with the kit, and these I had for my slingshot, and these Jeff had. Uh, we've tried them a few different things, but we haven't tried them through this yet. Yeah. So we're gonna see what they'll if they'll bounce back and. Smack us. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, the phone at a little bit of angle, so it shouldn't. Right. it shouldn't. Yeah, see if I can hit the broad side of the barn with one of these. Yeah, we'll shoot the, the Samsung Galaxy, which we're not sponsored by Samsung or anything like that. See what kind of damage it does to the screen. Because a lot of people have cell phones, they have an idea how fragile or unfragile their screens are. Gives you an idea. Don't, shoot, get, it. Don't shoot it with marbles. Yeah, yeah. Or anything, <laughs> <laughs> and and really, it's probably not the best position to film someone. You know, to shoot from a bench like that, from a sitting position. We do that for the alignment of the cameras and stuff. So it's kind of asking a lot for Danny to shoot in an awkward position like that. That's not bad. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to give you an out here in case you miss. <laughs> Got your ears on. Uh, ears and eyes and underwear. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Nice. That one landed in the water back there. Yeah, it that went into the. Into our... And of course, we got to shoot the lead plate, otherwise, ugh, people get very disappointed. Yeah, if we don't, we hear about and you, it. And we didn't hit it last time when you shot those rope rounds. <laughs> so maybe we can redeem uh, Danny's uh, shooting skills. Yeah, we didn't bring the clay block. So. I know. I, I, it was yeah. sitting there right in my garage and I forgot it. That would have been perfect for these. I'm sorry. Okay, wh what are you aiming for? Uh, the lead plate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope we can hit it. And what are you going to be using first? Uh, we're going to go with steel ball first. Okay. And then we'll try a glass marble. Okay. The glass. I, I'm 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 excited about the glass marble for some reason. Okay, All I'm right. ready. There we go. Oh, over the top. Quick reload. <laughs> I find if you blow on it, it, it kind of. There you go. Look at that. A little wrist snap. Did you hit it? I think I hit low. I think you, you hit the angle iron I thing. I rushed that one. All right, here we go. Gee, oh. manny. I got the shakes. I know, it's it's a, it's hard to pull that thing. Oh, I was yeah. shaking all over the place trying to tug on that thing. It's yeah, like, maybe oh. it was because I slept like a muffler last night. How's that? I woke up exhausted. Ah, God. <laughs> Hey, man, hey. I'm telling you, you were natural for the marbles. Well, we're going to give this one more, and then we're going to go for a marble. Yeah, yeah. All right. Slow down. Pay attention. Concentrate. Got it, right? Got it. Oh, <laughs> it bounced, landed in my truck. <laughs> Good, we got that one back. marble that is half blue and half white we want to see if how much these things are spinning because why not okay and Danny's good with the marbles right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one you painted you so you better hit it 
All right. Hit low, but it hit the plate. I see a blue mark from the magic marker on there. Now we're going to go for the arrows. This is what I've been waiting for. Okay, he's pre-stretching it. He's got the uh, the quick release mounted on there. Explain how that works in case people don't understand archery or anything. Yeah. Basically, basically a trigger, basically, right? It's just a clamp. You pull this and it releases. Yeah, it's like a little... Pull that, clamp it on, keep your finger off. It's like a, a, a trigger for a, a bow and arrow, or in this case, a pocket shot. And then when you release, well, there we go. There you go. It launches. Okay. Okay, and let's explain again how to use these arrows in coordination with... with am I using the right word? Yeah. In, in conjunction with this specific pouch. Yeah, this pouch has a cross pin in it back here. There's a, uh, uh, I don't know what you call a mechanism or whatever. There's a plug back here with a cross pin. Put the arrow in. Oh, I, I heard it snap. You hear the snap? Yeah. That was the knock latching in. And you know you got it. When you pull back, arrow comes back with you. Gotcha. And you have, we have not tried this yet, so we're... This is an absolute first. Here. Yeah. Again, we're going to shoot at five, seven, uh, I keep forgetting how far that is. We're five uh, yards? Between six and seven yards right Okay, here. okay. Close enough that hopefully he has a good chance. Okay, this is not a very impressive distance, but it, it is the first time he's ever tried it with this rig. Um, it's only five six yards away is that right uh we're between six and seven okay why can't i remember that give me give me, give me credit for a little bit of range i know <laughs> it, every every inch counts man so let's see if he can hit the water jug and we have a kevlar vest behind it so hopefully we don't lose the arrow in the weeds okay are you ready uh, i'm as ready as i'm going to be okay there we go Nice thing about this is you can pull it back to an anchor point in your cheek. You're not going to smack yourself. Oh, that's a good point. See what that does to the jug. I bet it does some slicing and dicing. Yeah. Not bad for the first shot. The first time he ever shot with the uh, with this setup, he did hit the jug. You, you said that the uh, trigger release is very sensitive, very right? Very sensitive. That one actually went off. I wasn't quite ready for it. Okay, gotcha. So keep your finger off trigger till you're on target. Yeah, it's, it's, you just touch it. It's like a half ounce trigger. Very, very light. Okay, let's see if uh, he can hit the label this time. I'm ready. Wow. I saw where it went. Okay, so much for our vest capturing it. a mechanical broadhead kind of a cheapo one but it when it's designed to kind of open up and it's razor sharp of course oh what's nice about archery is that you can get second shots <laughs> if you can recover your arrow same spot. Same spot. You're consistent. Consistently off. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 
<laughs> this one definitely takes a lot of practice. Okay. I'm ready. There you go. <laughs> he did it finally. Yep. Steep learning curve. Yep, yep. Okay, now that Danny's had all that practice, <laughs> all that training, um, let's see how, how the arrows do at uh, 15 yards. We got a sack of uh, landscaping bark, which is the it's going to be the new uh, target medium for archers. In the you know, instead of buying those expensive targets, you just get some bark because that's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than nothing. Well, when you get it all shot up, you can spread it out in your... My yard! Your exactly. Yard. That's what it's all about. Okay, he's going to shoot all three arrows now. The field tip, then the broadhead or whatever, or the mechanical broadhead, and then the, the broadhead. Is that how, how you got them? That's how they're laid out. We'll just go with it. Not... Okay, I'm ready. All this right. may take a while. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Little to the right. Snap. You know it's in place when you hear the snap. That was better. Oh, that was way off. Whoa! I got it. <laughs> there you yeah. go, man. Danny's gonna be eating good tonight. Yeah. Good. Bagged a bag of Spark Trozos de Co Cotiza. Oh. All natural bark nuggets. It's organic. Kind of like chicken nuggets, but got a little more fiber to it. <laughs> Pre cooked. Just warm it up and go for it. <laughs> All right, well, first one came off a little to the right. That was the field point. That one wasn't too bad. That, that bag worked out pretty good to capture them, though, without damaging the arrows. Uh, about uh, six inches. Yeah. I think I think you started a trend here, shooting bags of bark instead of uh, <laughs> those bags full of. Uh, and then third shot, I probably rushed that a little bit, but we missed. And <laughs> was able to recover it. Yeah. Give you an idea of what they'll do, though. If you're out uh, hunting wabbit or squirrel, or coyote or whatever, you might just do the job. <laughs> <laughs>